In this video, we're going to look at how to use the Auto Elliott Wave Study. The Auto Elliott Wave Study provides fully automated wave counts updated in real time. The Auto Elliott Wave Study will create and automatically update a wave count as new historical bars are generated. Because the Auto Elliott Wave Study is continuously updating, unlike our other Elliott Wave tools, the counts in the Auto Elliott Wave Study cannot be manually adjusted. This also means you cannot add wave ratio or time analysis to the counts, and you cannot use the Elliott Wave trading strategies on the Auto Elliott Wave study. Let's go to a different chart. Now, to access the Auto Elliott Wave study from the console, go to the study menu, choose all studies, and then you can either start typing the name of the study until you see it in the list, or you can scroll down in this list until you see the study that you want. You can double click or you can click once and click OK. This will bring up the study settings window. And then we just click create to add the study to our chart. To delete the study from your chart, click on the label for the study in the top left corner. And then you can either hit the delete button on your keyboard or you can right click on that label and choose delete. You can also add the study to the chart by right clicking on the chart, going to add study and going to all studies again and do the same thing that we just did. Or if you've recently used the study, it will show in your recent list here and you can just select it. Again, this pops up the study settings window. To get back into the Auto Elliott Wave study settings, simply double click on that study name and that setting window comes back up. What you see under the Options tab are our default settings for all of our studies, and most of these do not apply to the Auto Elliott Wave study. The one that may apply if you only want the Auto Elliott Wave study to apply to certain timeframes is the Visibility option. If you're interested in this, please see our visibility video for more information on this function. Under the general tab, you'll see the decompose levels. By default, it is set to one, which gives you the top level wave count, plus mode of wave will further fill in the wave count one level below that top level wave count. You can set a specific number of decompose levels. You can even choose zero if you only want that top wave count or you can set decompose all by using this checkbox. And mode of wave will keep decomposing levels until it can't break down the counts any further. I'll click apply here so that you can see those additional decomposed levels on the chart. And now a very important setting under the general tab is whether you want the Auto Elliott Wave study to automatically plot Elliott waves based on a data window or by using a specific start date and time. These two options can give you very different results. For the data window, it is possible to have varying wave count results while using the Elliott Wave study, especially when using the data window. For example, a look back period of 250 bars, which is the default, Mode of Wave will look for significant high or low within the specified period to calculate and initiate the wave count. As new data presents itself, that data window may shift forward, respecting its minimum bars and maximum bars values. This means that the starting point of that data window will change as that data window shifts, which will cause the wave count to recalculate based on that new data set and that most likely will mean the wave counts that you see will change. It could mean that as the new data comes in, where the count started could change from a significant high to a significant low as that start at that starting point or vice versa, depending on the new updated data window. By default, the input is set to use the data window option, which is a specific number of bars so that your system isn't automatically pulling a lot of data. To define a data window, you would configure the minimum and maximum bars, and you would also click the Use All Available Data setting. For a more consistent wave count, you can specify a start date. 
As with data windows, it is important that the data range contains a significant high or low in the past. Using a start date uses all available bars from the specified date up to the present bar. So unlike the data window, the look back period does not shift, but instead includes all of the newly presented bars as part of that data range. So your data range gets longer and longer. Please be aware that specifying a start date can cause a lot of data to load if you are changing the time frame on the chart. For example, if you set a start date to be a year or two in the past on a daily chart and then switch to a one minute chart, Motive Wave will attempt to load two years of minute data, which can take a long time. To use a specific start time and date, you would select the Use Date option here and then set your start time and date. So I can scroll back however long I want, choose October, August 1st. I can choose years further back. And you can even set the time in here. And then click Apply. That's it for this video, and we'll see you in the next one.